this yank. We'll cut him down when he quits kicking. City. That beats cheating at cards, don't it? Well, let's go. Yeah, but the marshal's asleep. Never shoot a man in his sleep, yellow legs. You being a Yankee, that is. He ain't very sociable, is he? Been with us a week and ain't lost his temper once. I never did trust a man didn't lose his temper once in a while. Come on, let's go. We ain't taking the bank today. Uh, you giving the orders now? It looks that way, don't it? Yeah, in my style. Come on, he's asking for it, boy. Any man that turns his back on you is just a dadling fool. I can like him. Never knowed a Yankee before.
just need your shoe. There's a blacksmith shop. How long you figure that money's gonna keep? Till I tell you when? I mean, I'm kinda anxious to get my hands on and get over to old Max. Take care of your horse first. I'm figuring on having a couple of drinks with you fellas. This town has some pretty girls in it. Well, you get this far out in the brush, they're all pretty. <laughs> Billy, take the horses around the livery stable. Uh, are you talking to me? Well, your name's Billy, ain't it? I'll take the horses for you, mister. Like an honest man. You know, uh, some folks is just born lucky, I guess. Doggone it, yellow legs, don't push yours. Thing back up. That'll have to wait, gents. Wait, wait for what? Church is about to start. Parson don't like to look at it during his sermon. Well, that's in Sunday, is it? That's a matter of opinion in Gila City. We haven't seen the calendar in two years. Some folks hold it's Monday, but these folks they hold it Sunday. You gents looking for a drink? I'm looking right at it. What's in that bottle? Best way you've got. Even the mayor drinks it. That'll have to do. Uh, tell me something. Uh, how about the bank? How they hold? The bank's open. They're Monday folks. The bar's closed when the parson walks in. Howdy, mister. Hello, boy. Hey. That's what I call pretty. Told you to dance all across the street. Imagine coming in here like she was respectable and bringing her woods cold with her. Imagine she wouldn't know his father if she saw him again. Poor boy. I imagine it's as close as she ever was to a parson and her holding a prayer book like she was respectable. If they're going to heaven, let you and me not go. Gents, bar's closed. Number 23. Rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flowed be of sin the double cure. Don't do no good. Bar's closed. On account of the church meeting. Whiskey. I give friends that. Really sure enough, fancy pull old six shooter. <laughs> See how fast you can take the cork out of that bottle. I want to tell you something. He's fast. Them whole legs six shooters. That boy's a real coming boy. I want to tell you, I taught him everything. I know that's the way. What's the matter? I guess you're just going to have to stand here and look that bottle all the way through the sermon.
Lord, I see you sent us some new faces today. Male and female. Lord, I thank you. And folks, I welcome you. And uh, I'll be dishing out the Gospels in a minute. But first, I've got to say a word to you gents with your hats on. This here's a preach house, gents, and you'll take your hats off to the Lord. Mister, I never met a man who wouldn't take off his hat to the Lord. Let's get it off. You get on with your preaching. He's got to touch you about that hat, ain't he? He never seen nothing like it. Don't even take it off to sleep. We'll have a moment of silent prayer. I think you're studying up to be a miser. Studying up to buy us an army. Do you remember? I about that. such a dream, Billy boy. We could set up our own republic out in this country. It's wide open. Nobody can stop us. They get bank money and commentaries will sell us a hundred, maybe two hundred slave Indians. We put uniforms on them. Yeah, fix us up an army. And I could drill them. Johnny come marching home again, hooray, hooray. Johnny come marching home again. Left face, right face, eight foot straw. Johnny come marching. someplace before. Yeah. Uh, how long would this lay me up? Well, it's pretty close to the collarbone. A thing like that won't heal overnight, you know. Well, what, a week? More like a month. Well, I got a little business to attend to. I don't think you can wait that long. And stop wasting my time. Missouri. That's where it was. A fellow just about your size, a yellow legged sergeant. Somebody had tried to scalp him. A liquored up Johnny Reb with a bowie knife. He cut the sergeant up pretty badly before he was scared off by something. You know, if you take off your hat, you can make me out a liar. It's you, all right. Certainly you went out of your way to look me up, didn't you? Take off the hat. I kind of got used to keeping it on. Why? You haven't got anything to hide with a few battle scars. A lot of the boys came out of it with worse than that. What'd you do after the war ended? What would you do? Yeah, I'd go after that rip. Oh, I found it. Is uh, that Reb in town? What are you waiting for? I'm waiting to get him along. See, I want him to know who I am. I want him to know he's gonna get what he gave me. You sure you found the right man? Yeah, I'm sure. I left my teeth marks in his scalping hand. And I'm asking you, my friend, 
any man, woman, or child that reckons that he wants to go to hell, I say let that man, woman, or child stand up and be counted. Not counting, Parson. Get up, Bert. Why, you white-livered coyote, you mean to stand there and say you intend to go to that place? I sure do, Parson. Tell you something else. Any man in this room that don't get in his feet right now and join me is going there pronto. Well, uh, nice, nice to meet you, ma'am. <laughs> My name's Billy, Billy Kaplinger. Get out. Come on, Turkey. Sure is a pretty girl. Thank you for your fortitude. Uh, we'll uh, all close with a prayer now for those poor mis misguided men. All that money just sitting there, waiting on a yellow-legged Yankee. Never saw a man so patient about robbing a bank. Oh, church meeting's over. Okay, Let me know when that Yankee's patient runs out. This patient never does wear out. That uh, pretty redhead just went in that holds it today's Sunday. What do you uh, lovely creatures feel about that? I think it's Monday. Get your horse. Hmm? Get you. Billy! Hey, Billy! Yellow leg's ready! Yankee shooting on. Outlaws, Kit. They did some wild shooting. No. It was me.
She wouldn't know his father. She saw him again. Poor boy. I imagine it's as close as she ever was to a parson. And her holding a prayer book like she was respectable. Yellowleg sure has been trying to get himself drunk. Ain't quite making it, though. Some men are like that. Give it to him. Boy's leaning awful hard on him. Reckon the mayor will be able to talk that redhead into changing her mind? Ain't nothing gonna change her mind. She got Doc Jackson to take care of the body. Rented herself a wagon. She's going tonight. Going alone if she has to. Come to change your mind, kid. We've decided to have a nice funeral for the boy right here in Gila City. The whole town will come. As mayor, I'll see to it. Mead will be buried in Syringo, next to his father. Now, kid. Bury him here. You think I haven't heard all the whispering? You and your gossiping little wives with their pinched little faces and their noses in the air. Now, Miss Kid. A dance hall woman with her freckle-faced woods cold. No telling who the father might be. They smell brimstone every time I walk by. They hated us both, me and the boy. Well, he's dead now. And you can tell your wives that there was no sinning and there'll be no funeral. I'm taking him to Syringo. You can't do that, Miss Kid. It's smack in the middle of Apache country and there ain't nobody willing to go with you. Besides, there's not much of it left but the weeds. I've tried, Kit. I've asked everybody. I'm not asking anybody to go with me. Poor Kit. She's trying mighty hard to make folk believe about the boy's pa. He was a single man. Married. I didn't know that, Cal. Well, almost married. Me and Emma, she wouldn't let me go with Kit, not that way. Not to mention the Apaches. I ain't never seen a town so full of cowards. I ain't never seen a town so scared of Indians. <laughs> you can catch me. Think what all that sun will do to your face. Will you take this? No, thanks, Cal. Take it. I got no use for it. I can't sell it. Import it all the way from St. Louis. down from there. I said get down. Somebody's got to drive this for you. Not you. I'm asking to. I said get down. Uh, need any help, ma'am? Get out of here, Billy. Ooh, didn't mean to butt in. Uh, your place. Get down.
Bet she don't get 20 miles before she turns around. $50. Call. What do you got? Sorry, sir. You lose to four aces. We're leaving town. You little premature yellow legs. Get your horses. But it me like this town. Got a homey place in it. If we stick around, you better leave alone, because we ain't leaving. <laughs> Looks like you and me is going to go to Syringo. Billy, you're not picking up and giving me orders. I'm just backing them up. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of going to Syringo with that redhead. What's the matter? Come on. I guess you don't mind a yellow leg holding you around, but I don't like it. But if I could handle a six shooter like you, Billy Boy. His back's pointing right at you. What's the matter? Scared? Scared you might hear your gun coming out of the holster and whirl on you? Ain't no fit way to kill a man. Not even a Yankee. like that. Will you let me drive that wagon for you? I don't want your help. Well, uh, I'd be mighty proud to ride in that wagon with you, ma'am. Leave me alone. Both of you. Well, now, uh, you know what ain't exactly safe out here for a woman. Well, it ain't exactly safe for you either. Any of you. Now get! Why don't you leave this woman be and let's head back? Ah! Listen, that bank is probably just now opening up. Yeah, probably is, probably is. We'll follow along and see if she gets through. Doggies, that's a woman. Let's 
go. Dress kind of wet. Guess you're gonna have to dry it out. Shouldn't have to take long in this heat. You damn tall girl to talk to you about getting kissed. <laughs> you stay away from me. What you gonna do with that rock? Are you using it on me? Or a shotgun if I have to. Oh, well, ma'am, I always did go for high stakes. He scalped him. Yeah, just like they did. Come on, let's get back to that wagon. Coffee's ready. Well, you see, that woman don't want us around here, so why don't we accommodate her by leaving? You desert the Reb Arm. I remember telling you I was in the Army. What could you do for a deserter? How'd you guess? Maybe I ought to take a cup of coffee before it gets cold. Leave her alone. You. You talking to me? Hey, Billy. I think Yellow Leg's kind of taking a shine to that woman. All the time we thought he was feeling sorry about that boy. Shut up. Touchy, too. Yeah. Like he is about that hat he keeps wearing. You know what I think he's got on it? What's that? Money. Well, there's one way we can find out. Ask him. Take your hat off, yellow legs. He's scared of you, Billy. Yellow legs. Take your hat off, and I'll shoot it off. You try it, and I'll kill you. <laughs> you know, yellow legs, something about you I just gotta like. Got his claim staked out. We ought to be back at that bank. That posse would never follow us out here. Not to Seringo. Well, we could set up our own little republic like that Edward fella did down in Texas. You know, the Republic of Fredonia? All this land out here just to wait. Think how you look in that uniform with all that gold braid. You're the kind of trigger-happy young fella I can use. You know something? I'd make you my military aid. 
up and we'd start making up a lot of laws, but not one of them would apply to us. You don't know. <laughs> Never I'll did. tell you something. There's money in a thing like this. If it's run right. But we gotta start first with that bank back in Gila City. Turkey, don't you ever shut up. You, you, you nag like an old woman. You're quiet out here, ain't you? Look, I don't blame you for feeling the way you do, but right now it might be a good idea if, it, uh, if you could kind of make out like we was getting along. You always that stubborn or just hard to figure out? Lady, I'm just trying to help. Who are you trying to help? Riding shotgun on this wagon isn't going to buy you a clean conscience. I'm beginning to wonder if you ever figured on going to Syringo at all. What are you trying to say? I mean, right here is as good as Syringo for the boy. You don't have to prove anything to me. Damn you! I got him fighting. Yeah. You don't know me well enough to hate me that much. Hate is a subject I know a little something about. You gotta be careful, it won't bite your back. I know somebody spent five years looking for a man he hated. Hating and wanting revenge was all that kept him alive. He spent all them years tracking that other man down. When he caught up with him was the worst day in his life. He'd get his revenge all right. Then he'd lose the one thing he'd had to live for. that for? Well, just checking my aim. Not like letting the Apaches know where we are. That ain't no fit way to kill a man. Not even the Yankee. You go on up ahead and find us a place to camp. There might be some Apaches out there. And you go find out. Son, here. I'll get used to it. We'll be living in Syringo. You can find your own way back.
Turk, what you doing out here? Seems your guard. Who shoots it? Big can is around with me for a long while. It's a genuine general's cap. I stole it over in San Antonio. I never did show it to anybody before. Man sure really looks like some weird one. He's dirty boy. Huh? Well, if you're waiting for me to salute you, you're gonna wait a long time. Hey, hold for something else. Many people know it's there. We're gonna buy ourselves some slave Indians. We're gonna put uniforms on them. And we're gonna drill them good. We'll be able to burn a fire path through this country from Tucson to Tucum, Gary. You say, boy, huh? What do you think of that, huh? Oh, it's fine, Ted, fine. Um, take over my guard for me, will you? Travel with a lady before kind of appeals to me. Get out of my way. Maybe I will, and maybe I won't. I'm telling you to leave me alone. Oh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to trouble you, kid. I uh, just want to be sociable and uh, never wear my guns when I make a social call. I always did like pretty things, and, and you're just about the prettiest I ever seen. Chance out in that patch of country alone? Well, that's his lookout, ain't it?
He's gone. They'll be going back to Gila City, both of them. I'll drive you back there in the wagon if you want. No, thanks. You still going to Seringo? You think you can stop me? Lady, I wouldn't even try. I'm sorry about losing the horse. Well, you don't have to talk to me, you know. It ain't worth the effort. Five years is a long time to turn your back on, especially for a woman like me. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Lady, I quit thinking when I turned my horse around. Oh, stop calling me lady. My name is Kit. I don't know you well enough to call you Kit. I don't think you're fooling me. You're not half as mad at me as you are at yourself. You gonna talk all the way to Swingo? Ha! Huh? Well, 
wants more. You know, I can hardly remember what my husband looked like. We were only married a few weeks. We were on our way to Gila City when he was... He was killed in Syringo. When Mead was born, they wouldn't believe me. Gila City put a brand on both of us. But their jokes and their talk and their ugly little smile. It's dark. We gotta have another horse. Them Apaches can't be far off. They got plenty of horses. You wait right here till I get back. We're moving out. This is far enough. I don't think I can stay awake another minute. You'll have to. Start digging. bury the wagon. From here on, our trail's got to look Indian. We're lucky those Apaches might still be out trying to find their stagecoach.
been tired. I didn't ask for any help. I wasn't offering any. I just asked if you get tired. Yellow leg a name? No. It'll do. Where are you from? Ohio. Is it pretty back there? East be. What are you doing? Do and I kill you. Why didn't he kill us? Well, he's got a little score to settle up with me first. Start packing up. You can't forgive me for making you give up those five years, can you? I'll pick up his trail again. Hardly seem worth the trouble. Here you go.
is he waiting for? Why doesn't he kill us? He will when he's ready. Why don't you kill us and get Stop it over it. with? Come on! Stop, Stop leave me alone! Shut up! Shut up! Why do you let him torture us like Shut up! Your friend's been awful quiet. Maybe he got bit by a snake. You think it's much further? What? Syringo. Syringo what? Do you think? I feel I know you better than any man I've ever known. Yet I hardly know you at all. What are you trying to do? You're hurting me. What did you expect to find? I was only trying to make you more comfortable. That's all I need to know about you.
Next time I'll be waiting for him.
by the mission? What was your husband's name? Mead Tilden. My son was named after him. Couldn't find it. It's there. No, there ain't nobody named Tilden buried there. You're just the same as all the rest. It must be one of the others. behind you. When that Billy gets a hold of an idea, he just won't let go of it. Especially if it's a red-headed woman. Well, no need to keep the lady out here in the sunshine. Let's step inside. Talk things over.
Sorry I can't offer you folks a drink. What did you do with the money? Money or what money are you talking about? One thing to bring him down here, that's keeping one jump ahead of a posse. I never saw folks so scared, Angel. That doggy, she sure is pretty. Turkey, go get that money. You crazy? I'll go on, do what I told you to do. Go get the money. Ain't got the heart to kill him. Huh? How would you like to have your gun back? You you want me to do it? I'll be much obliged. Just the minute he walks back through this door here. What about her? We'll decide that later. You and me. Well, uh, I'm going for a little walk. But I'll be around. Lady's got to admit I got guts. Get out of here. You can't. I waited five years. The waiting's over. Now keep out of it. What happened to Mead was an accident. I know that now. Even though I thought that I could never forgive you for it. But I could never love a man who was a cold-blooded killer. Love? You don't even know me. A face under a hat. Did you ever wonder why I won't take this off? Want to talk about love? I've seen you with your hat off. What about my scars? You know how many men I've let kiss me and pinch me just because their filthy money gave them the right? Men with dirty shirts, smelly arms, money in their pockets. Can those scars be forgotten? Can I ask you to love a woman like that? Now, don't that make a pretty picture? Where's Billy? the way. Don't do it!
Well, they're shooting and they ain't even touched him yet. Turkey! Are you crazy? Yellow leg. This is it. You and me. Move out, Billy. Move out, Billy. I ain't got time for you. There ain't but two horses in this town. You know as good as me that only two people are gonna ride out of here alive. Hi, Cat. We're trailing a couple of bank robbers. Looks like you've got one of them. 
Where's the other? Inside. Looks like they figured you didn't have guts enough to come here. But you know how people are. As long as it's their money, the gates of hell wouldn't stop them. Sure. Parson, we're gonna need a few of the right kind of words from you. We're burying the boy alongside of his dad. I'll say the right kind of words. Captain Dill, we buy some slave Indians. 